Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of The Undertaking. So, I know a lot of you have gone crazy saying who rated Biolaser, blah blah blah, Biolaser was rated. Yes, I was rated, I guess. Not wipe. Everybody keeps saying Biolaser was wipe, Biolaser. No, I was not wipe. This does not mean the end of the series. The series is a PvP slash PV, I guess PvE because everybody apparently considers farming pve even though you need to farm in order to raid but whatever you want to say <clears throat> so now i wanted to address some things before i show you the damage so number one i wanted to ask you guys do you guys like um the trolling episodes more do you guys like the farming episodes more or do you want a mixture of both now i was holding off on pvp until like mid april when they finally give a server transfer so then i could use this base and go there and then bring stuff back here i do have an, an, a base on ragnarok i had a base on the center but it was um it was actually wiped that base was wiped like they destroyed everything foundation wiped the fuck out of that base but um i have one as well in the island so i could always supply and i guess bring the eggs if i get eggs or stuff like that back to that base but like there's no i i feel like there's no point you know i love pvp and i love raiding but if i can't bring the loot back and hatch the eggs myself and stuff like that i kind of feel like it's pointless so maybe if i start doing it again if i get eggs i might give them away instead of selling them on the market i might just give them away um and probably keep um some eggs to myself or something like that for the black market so now black market <clears throat> for those of you that keep asking me a million times that's the black market black market is facebook forums twitter forums um sometimes even instagram forums um and mostly um like facebook groups trading groups you know if you go on facebook there's trading groups there but i most i like to use facebook forums more i use a fake account i guess you could say i made a fake uh facebook account it's not really my facebook and that's how i trade you know, because I figure one day the channel is going to blow up and people are like, where's Biolaser? You know, so yeah. So now, back to the thing. Just because I'm allied with the Alpha does not make me untouchable. People could still raid me. People could still come and raid me. And of course, there was a couple of haters. They call themselves fans, but they were haters because they were spewing out shit, racist stuff on the, on the thing saying, oh, you know... The freaking spit, curry munch and stuff like that. And it's like, oh god, the words, they hurt me, man. But, you know. So let me show you the damage. So these guys, mind you, these guys came with, it was four of them. It took, now this is the thing that makes me laugh. Four people to raid one man tribe. So that to me sounds like a joke. Now, I know that a lot of people are going to be in the comments like, well, you shouldn't be the one to talk. You like to PvP and you offline raid and stuff like that. Honestly, I'm going to raid whether you're there or not, you know, and most of the time, every single time, there has not been one time that I've come across a base that it was not a solo base. Every time that I go in there, I find like four or five people sleeping on the floor and they're not body bags. They're legit players, you know. So then I've hit mid-size to like, I guess mid-size tribes to like dual tribes. But I'm a solo player. And as much as you guys want to say things like, oh, you know, um... The alpha helps you, the alpha helps you, the alpha helps me to a certain extent. They helped me in the beginning because I gave them species Z's, but there's so many things they're going to give me, you know. They're not going to, like, take me out for a walk on a leash and stuff like that. They're not. They got their own fights to deal with. They got their own things to handle. So they're not going to walk me through the park. Now, the alpha was very pissed about the fact that, like, I got white because the alpha, um, I guess the server itself here are fans of the channel, and they told me that... They were like they were really annoyed that um, I was white because honestly I farmed the hell out of the freaking base by myself and I just got wiped and then they felt like guilty in a sense because they were like you know it's our war and you kind of got you know tackled because you were a solo player so you were an easy target so they kind of were getting mad I wasn't getting mad because every fairy tale needs a bad guy to the story now these guys massively fucked up because when they came here. They were caught. So even though they got to raid me, they were caught by the alphas and the alliance and the whole server. So little do they know that we know all of their servers and we've and BioLaser has contact and I've contact their so-called alliances and their alliances said you could attack them, bro. We don't care. You could wipe them for all we care. We're not defending them. So expect some really 
good PvP videos in the future, especially when I'm gonna go there with subscribers, cause they're a tribe. So at the end of the day, I am a solo player. There's so much. I'm not going in there to raid. I'm going in there to wipe. Maybe troll in them before we actually go in there and wipe. But you know, every bad guy needs every story needs a bad guy, I should say. But yeah, let me show you the damage. So. <clears throat> they came in here like I think it was like four or five of them. They came in here with two Reapers with like 50k HP Because we kill um they the um the Alliance killed one of them and they told me that it was like a 50k HP Reaper um The other ones were I don't know what the other one was as well as uh, they brought two rock tricks so Yeah, um, so as you guys know I built turret towers around here they managed to soak this turret tower. As you can tell, this turret tower doesn't have any. And they managed... And then this one didn't get blown. None of the turret towers got blown up. And I know some of you are going to laugh in the comments. Like, they did what? They just fucking left all those turrets hanging there? But yeah. So now... They left... Um, I had these turned off because I was farming bullets. And what I was doing is that I was farming for like C4 because I was going to go trolling. Because like I said last episode, there's not much to do besides farm bullets for now. So I was going to do a mixture of like breeding, hatching eggs episode and, um, you know, regular trolling. So some of these don't have bullets. Some of them didn't have bullets. I think the only ones that I actually put bullets on were on the, on the main base. But yeah, so all of these are still powered. They just don't have bullets. So we're going to have to farm bullets for these. Um, and now for the damage in the inside. So, they blew in through here. So, they got in here because that turret tower was down. This one didn't really have bullets, but that one had bullets. They only soaked that one. And then they soaked this one right here, you know. Now, I have no idea because they can't really use this to heal up. Because, you see, I could stand right here. And I know a lot of you have told me things like, oh, you know, you could heal up. But, look, I'm standing right here and it's not activating. You see? And I know some of you told me to put some things right here because people could just go underneath it. Yeah, that's true, but eventually we're going to turn this into heavies. And I would like to see somebody run here like this and not fucking get murdered by the time they get here. You know, because all these turrets overlap each other, so they're going to shoot each other. That one would shoot, this one would shoot, this one would shoot, and that one would shoot. So now, that one didn't have bullets, this one didn't have bullets, this one had bullets, and the main base had bullets. That's why they were able to get in. Because there wasn't much soaking. If all these things were going off at the same time, I'll tell you right now, they wouldn't have gotten in. You know, so I guess they were nice enough or their pipes broke and they didn't kill the Akatinas, which is a win-win. So they blew in through here. I'm um, guessing the splash damage blew that wall up. <coughs> but yeah, they blew in through here. Obviously, they knew this base because they are actually, they watched the episodes. So that to me sounds like a big bitch move. That's a small baby dick move, you know, when you kind of know the base layout. But I kind of knew this was going to happen. I was embracing it. I kind of knew and I knew this. And I know from a lot of you that know every YouTuber that plays art PvP, we don't have one base. And I know that you guys heard in my last episode says we're working on a second project and a third project. Biolaser's not stupid. Biolaser has other bases besides this one. So when somebody told me something like, oh, um... You know, why is it that you don't show your beds? It's because I don't want people to know where my other two bases are at. So we still have crabs. We still have drakes. I only, I was only hatching stuff right here for the episode, but this is the recording base. So yeah, they came in, they hit the recording base, but it's a recording base. It, and then plus, not only that, I always said it was, this was going to be the farming base. So, I mean, they hit a farming base. Um, so they hit this two refrigerators here. They got their rock cakes, the, the rock drake eggs. Some of them. I got the best ones for me and I kept a bunch of 155s that I was going to give away. They got under here and then they started blowing up all the AC units because, you know, they're good guys. You know, just to be, just to be funny. They blew up, um, all the refrigerators just because. They blew up in here. They blew the Jenny up. I managed to put this Jenny back up, but they blew the Jenny up. They blew the vault that was in here, and you could tell they did because of all the foundations that are gone. Mind you guys, this was double layer. This is double layer foundations, so they spend a lot of cheese for, like, nothing, you know? Like I told you, they were haters. They were just in here just to be, like, funny. To me, <coughs> if you have to cause this amount of damage, that just shows that you have no life. You know, like, I don't know. 
Because to me, when I go raiding, I go raiding because I want to get loot. I want to get gear. I want to get stuff. I don't go there just to, like, blow up shit and be funny and leave, you know? I just find that as a waste of time. Um, so, yeah, they blew this up. I put the cables back up. Um, rebuilt in the base. Um, you know, they blew up everything. They blew up the camp match and stuff like that. On the second floor, they killed all the... Um, they killed all the dung beetles, but they left the snails, which... I thought uh, if I would have been me, I would have done the opposite. I would have killed the snails and left the fucking dung beetles. Because dung beetles are easy to tame. They drained the turrets on the top, you know. And then I think they blew this wall up to come out here and kill the dragons. Oh, they also broke all the crop lots as well. So they knew not to come to the front. They knew to blow through the side. And I was in the process of like double layering this. But, um, you know, it's whatever, I guess. Wait, did that? Oh, yeah. No, I was in the process of double layering this. So they were nice enough to leave this lamp. I was hoping that they freaking didn't blow it up because that shit is annoying to craft. And the one upstairs. Okay, good. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to use admin commands because people always say that I cheat. And we're going to fix this base. We're going to spawn in a forge. So hold on. Let's spawn in a forge. No, no. That's not how you do it. And then... What do I got to do? Do I press this and then control RT this? No, okay. Well, I got to I'm going to use this funk um some admin commands and then have the base back up and running in a second, okay? So I'll be right back. Bam. There you go. Base is back up. We got a rock trick. Turrets are back up. And I'll show you. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Everything is back to normal. It's like we weren't even raided. <laughs> but yeah, guys, as you can see, Things are back to normal. Everything's back to normal. I did do a little bit different. I didn't put the grill up though. I did do a little bit different. I decided to put the refrigerators up on top here better. Because I feel like up down here it was sticking out. And then this whole thing didn't really have a thing. And then the AC units are down here. Um, You know, the Jenny's back up down there. And it's funny too because I know they were watching the videos. Thank you for supporting whoever raided me. Thank you for watching the channel and thanks to those of you that um that are haters that decided to rate me and comment down below my channels are below those videos are blowing up appreciate it my boys but um yeah they kind of knew that i had a generator here because you know they saw the build not only that i like i said if you look up online and you look at cave Biden, he was the one that designed this base so it's exactly the same but as you can tell everything's back to normal i guess we should yeah we gotta pin lock these things um, if we go up here, the snails are no longer here and nor is the dung beetles because now that everything's back up, I know they're going to come knock on my door again. So what I decided to do was take all the snails and the dung beetles to the other base that I have. I have like two more bases. If you guys remember, I was farming a lot. Remember, it didn't take me that long to build up this base. Uh, I would say probably in times two, like nothing. And then right now it is times two. Well, it was times two. So I farmed up and I have a third base now. On top of this base, I have a third base now. So yeah, you don't see any crabs or anything. Usually what I would do when I would finish recording is that I would take all the tames and take it to the other base. But um, I was crafting bullets for here, so I was exhausted and then I was just nonstop crafting bullets. So I kind of left all the tames part there before I left. You know, usually the tames that I would take with me would be like the crab and the dodic and the ankly. And then I would just leave like the Drake here and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I had like three, four more Drakes, you know. So I was able to um, bring Homeboy over here and stuff like that. Because I was raising. As you saw on one of the things, I was raising babies. So I didn't know that you could pick up like babies with the crab. So that's what I did. As soon as I, I got like they were like um, they were hatched, I picked them up with the crab and then I took them right away. It was a fucking struggle to get to the other because the other base is like I made sure that the other base is really far off away from this one to make sure that, um, you know, you don't want to build like two bases right next to each other. You know what I mean? Now that turret tower. Why is that turret tower down? Did it run out of gas already? Well, I don't know, but um, yeah, I've been farming nonstop. We're we're still gonna get another um little bio laser. Um, but yeah, I had some good news. So while I was doing and farming all this stuff and everything, guess what we did? 
I got on the black market and look what I got. Oh, I got some tech engrams. Mm, guess what we're going to be doing? Building that fucking tech replicator <coughs> and building the tech transmitter. So the first thing I got to do is, um, first thing I got to do is before I even built the tech replicator here, and I think I told you guys that if I built one, I was probably going to put it right here. And then I was just going to get rid of this and the refrigerators. And I was probably going to make a hatch and pen maybe right there. If not, then I was going to make it like over here somewhere, like right here in the corner, like right there. You know, yeah, I'll probably make it like right there, make a hatch and pen right there. Um, that'll be the only thing. But before we even do that, we're going to have to do a lot of farming. I already have a tech replicator on the other base. Uh, on my third base, I'm still building it. I don't think I'm gonna put a tech replicator there I'm probably just gonna make it for like storage You know and then the second one I'm gonna use it as um PvP base and I'm gonna use this as a farming base, you know, so we have the bunker um, The PvP and the farming the farming base is gonna be mostly the things that I show on the video I'm not gonna be showing the other two because I already it's already shown that um people will come raid you so I'm sorry guys, I know it sucks for you guys that wanted to see the bases and stuff like that, but maybe, who knows, maybe I'll show them in the future. I don't know, maybe I'll just get ballsy and cocky and be like, well fuck you, come raid me pussies, and, and I'll just show the base, you know, who knows, maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't, it depends, but I will be showing a lot of this base, I will be doing hatching episodes, and as well as I will be doing PvP episodes, I asked you guys on the last couple of videos and stuff like that and I noticed that I got a lot of replies um some of you prefer the PvE some of a lot of you prefer only PvP and some of you prefer mix and I know it's been a little PvE a lot but like I said guys honestly the only reason why it's been PvE a lot lately is because I've been trying to build this base plus I had other projects that I was doing and plus like I said on Monday's video I I'm dealing with some stuff right now it's nothing personal or anything like that. I just need to pick up like, um, I basically got to pick up overtime at my job, you know, in order for me to save up some money to buy some stuff and to pay some bills. I know adult stuff. Uh, like I said, I'll explain it a little bit better in a future video, but um, it's going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday posts until probably I want to say summertime, maybe before the summertime or like around June, I'll go back to like daily posts. But expect streams on the weekends at least, you know. I mean, not every weekend, but every other weekend. I know I'm going to be streaming this weekend, Saturday, some Sea of Thieves. Um, I've actually been playing Sea of Thieves off camera because, you know, when you farm for ARC for like a good couple of hours, you're like, all right, let me take a break. A break. And a lot of you like to play Fortnite. I play Fortnite too, but I feel like Fortnite frustrates me. And then Sea of Thieves is more of a relaxed game. You're playing it with friends and you're just talking shit. You're fucking around and stuff like that. So that's why I've been playing. I'm going to play Sea of Thieves on Saturday with one of my old friends from high school. Hopefully he joins me. So I, I told him, I was like, bro, how you been? Get on some Sea of Thieves. Let's do it. So yeah. Um, as for if you guys are wondering why didn't I rebuild the cooker. Um, honestly, because I have a cooker already on at the other base. So... I'm going to be making veggie cakes and stuff like that. Now, it doesn't mean that I'm going to stop, like, filming in this video on this base. I'm still going to be filming. But I first need to, need to deal with the problem. So, like I said, I'm not going to be doing anything huge here. Um, I'll probably be doing crafting, like, C4 and bullets here. And, like, maybe, like, pre-incubating a couple of eggs. You know? And then hatching them. And you guys are going to see that. I'm, I mean, I'm going to still show... The, the hatchery, I guess you could say, um, on my other base. And you guys are going to see, like, when the babies pop and stuff like that. But you're not really going to be seeing the base itself and where it's located and stuff like that for all intents and purposes. So, yeah, guys, this just goes to show you. This is, like, once again, this is not the only way to solo PvP. I decided to just do it because I'm a very good grinder. And I was like, you know what? Let me build big. And honestly, my biggest... um. My goal for this series was to now that I have um now that I have the replicator tech replicator I was going to start doing um I need to get myself into some more boss fights so then I could start like learning the basic foundation like doors and stuff like that for tech But what I wanted to start doing this is a surprise that I kind of had but I guess I might as well just spill the beans 
I am really good at finding places to hide. So what I was thinking about doing for those of you that are solo players, and I get a lot of people saying, hey, can I join your tribe? Hey, can I join your tribe? I was thinking about doing kits. So I was thinking about building like two by twos, maybe um, two by ones and stuff like that. Like on hiding spots that I know that I hide on Ragnarok, on the island, on the center. I'm not going to say Scorch because there's not really any good spots to hide in Scorch. But yeah, those three maps. So what I thought about was building like little small bases, compact bases. Kind of like the, the same designs that that guy, um, the Key, Key Viden does. And then have like a couple of C4s, a couple of like um, flag sets and stuff like that in there. I don't think about maybe no tanks, but I will have something like that and then give it on the giveaways. So then like, I mean, I won't show the location of the base, but I will show like the base of like, this is how the, um, the base design is. You know, the base looks like this, this is the design, this is this, this and that. And I would give you like 100 C4 with like, I don't know, two detonators. And be like, you know, and then give it to somebody who's a giveaway, who wants to play the game, but can no, cannot build up. Not only are you now built up with tech tier, but you have trolling gear. So you can just go and troll and have fun and enjoy yourself and stuff like that. Now you will have a compact base, so you could just get an RG or tame or like bitch tame an RG. And then just farm for the rest of the materials and then just basically like, you know, make more C4 at that point. Now, I know I'm going to get a shit ton of... Maybe I'll even give you an angler. Who knows? But I know I'm going to get a shit ton of fucking hate on the comments. And it's like, oh, God, you're trying to start a trolling army and stuff like that. But honestly, man, nowadays, if you're not an Omega tribe, you're a troll. That's basically what it comes down to. So I think the best thing to do is... Honestly, I'm trying to help you guys out. Because a lot of you keep asking me to join. And I keep saying, no, I'm a solo player. No. You know, I've done this all by myself. Now, now a lot of people would say, oh, man, you're not really solo because you're getting help from the alpha and stuff like that. Not really. I don't get help. I, it's equivalent exchange. I give them something. They give me something, you know. A lot of people like to hate. It's like, no, bullshit. That doesn't count. Yes, it does, man. When you're a solo player, anything counts. I know that it's hard to get shit up and running. And I know that it sucks to get up and running. But when you could, like, fast track that. I mean, I would do it. Um, like, I would have probably had this base back up and running in, like, less than an hour if I had the black market, you know? Like, and then some of you might ask, what's the black market? What's the black? Black market is Facebook forms. Black market is um, even, like, Xbox groups. Um, things like Twitter, even Instagram groups and stuff like that. Now, the way that you trade in there is some people use... Oh, I passed out. But, um, like I say... Some people use PayPal. I would stay away from that if you guys don't want to go and get your account banned. A lot of people use PayPal. Other people use things like, um, you know, trading like um, Polymer or stuff like that. Now, like the reason why I said I was like, it sucks because I can't really do it for my oration is like, yeah, I could farm Polymer and all this crazy stuff and I could trade. But guess what? I won't be able to do it. Why? Because like I can't bring stuff into aberration yet. Now, when the new update comes out, like, mid-April, which is, we're already in April, so, like, probably, hopefully mid-April, we're going to be able to, like, bring stuff over. We're going to be able to trade um, things for, like, bullets. We'll be able to trade, like, um, Reaper Kings for bullets. We'll be able to trade things like Drakes for bullets and stuff like that, you know? But, honestly, I mean, that's, that's the way that I want to do because, like, you know, the bullet grind is real when you have heavy turrets and stuff like that. Now, my character is level 94. So now that I learn, if you guys remember from, um, what was it? From when the alpha decided to like take me into the, one of their boss fights, I got the tech sleeping pod. So now that I have the tech sleeping pod and I have a tech replicator, I also have the, where's the Jenny? The tech generator. So I could make a tech, and it's really cheap, honestly. Like it's not that much. And the metal is a joke here. Polymer with the tech replicator, you could fit organic polymer all day. And there was somebody that saved my life in the comment section. And they said, and I quote, and they said this. They were like, hey, man, go to Ragnarok, learn the chainsaw, and start chase on it, like chase on away um, the freaking crabs. And oh my god, I was getting 300 polymer a crab. And I was like, this is the best thing ever. And this is why I was able to build all of my turrets, you know? All of my turrets like that. Oh, look, that turret slanted like a slanted penis. It's like, mm. 
But yeah, guys, <coughs> I mean, I know this is short of an episode, not really an episode. We didn't farm, we were just kind of talking most of the time. But it just shows you, Biolaser doesn't get wiped. Biolaser might get raided, but he does not get wiped. And they might have meat run um, my tanks, but I have like six crabs on backups, you know. There was like a lot of times two weekend, plus the extended times two weekend. I didn't show that I was taming crabs on spoiled meat. That's because that's a two-hour spoiled crab meat. But yeah, I mean, I kind of figured I was gonna get hit, especially with um the comments and my um and my um I was getting messages as well as there was people commenting on my video saying I know where you live I'm gonna go raid your server blah 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 so I was like alright they're coming let me just start getting ready for this and that's why right away I switched over to um you know paranoid mode and I basically started building another base and stuff like that because I figure they were gonna stop the series they ain't stopped the series the series is still going I kinda slowed down the series I wanna say because I got stuff to do and then um, like I said like I'm trying to save up some stuff to be able to like invest into the channel i guess you could say to be able to buy myself a better gaming chair i'm using like my freaking chair from like my um dining room you know i want to buy a better gaming chair i want to buy better monitors i want to buy like uh, i would have to do a video about my whole setup and you guys are going to see why i need new stuff i need a better like desk and stuff like that and plus i have like other plans and like later on towards the end of the year that i kind of wanted to start saving up now for so yeah guys <laughs> i mean it would help a lot if you guys share it like the channel and subscribe and hit the notification button join the notification squad you know it really helps me it helps me grow and it helps me invest that um those earnings that i gained from the channel back into the channel you know a boy's gotta eat too but you know i know that you guys help me out a lot and don't worry the farming videos will still come along I know a lot of you tell me to switch up the songs. I'll try to switch up the songs a little bit. And, you know, I try to piss, I try to pick the best, like, bumpy songs. I don't want to pick some song that you guys are going to fall asleep to. Unless I'm talking. Then it's up to you. But, yeah. Um, I think what we're going to do now, honestly, is probably grind for more bullets. Actually, no. Actually, I want to tame some snails. So, I think... I mean, do I really got to build stuff right now? Nah. We already have all the terror towers and stuff like that so i think what we're gonna do now is that we're just gonna start grinding for some bullets so we gotta go on a metal run i guess um actually no what i'm gonna do just for all intents and purposes of this channel is that i'm gonna go tame a crab it is right now easter week or easter event so i'm gonna try to get um a crab I'm gonna try to tame an Easter crab. I'm not gonna probably be using that crab here. Cause I wanna um I'm gonna bring a weight crab if I'm gonna do a metal run. So why the hell am I gonna use a brand new crab? I'm gonna bring one of my weight crabs from the other base here. And probably bring one of the ankles here as well. Cause until times two, I'm not gonna tame an ankle. So I'm probably gonna use that. And then start going hard on the paint with the ankle as well as um probably I only have one more dodic left because I really didn't feel like taming a dodic. I should have tamed another dodic. Ah, fuck, man. All right, I'm going to have to tame another dodic if I want. I guess it doesn't really matter because the crab is carrying him. So, yeah, we're going to have to tame a dodic. That's going to be like a seven hour thing. So, I think I'm going to use the other dodic and then we're going to have to tame a dodic on the next times two weekend because I forgot to tame one this weekend. See, I knew. I was like, yo, I'm forgetting something. What is it? Fuck. I tamed an ankle, but I didn't tame a dodic. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Alright guys. <laughs> I'm fast out again. We don't really have water running to the base right now. So it kind of sucks. Um, but yeah guys. I hope you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.